Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be doing an in-depth review on the line that is Vesca Beauty. I go through pretty much every single product. I tell you how I like to apply products. I show you how they look on my skin tone and how I think they would look on other skin tones. All of that good stuff. Now, today's video is very kindly sponsored by Vesca Beauty, but before you exit out, Listen, hear me out. Vesca actually sent me a small PR package a couple of months ago and they followed up with me and they were like, Morgan, how'd you like the products? And literally, you guys, I was like, I love them so much. I've done like four YouTube videos talking about them. I have like 10 Instagram photos. Will you please work with me? <laughs> so I'm the one that gets the privilege to work with Vesca on this video because Listen, this brand impressed me by just the products alone, but when I actually started looking into the brand itself, I can guarantee you that your money is going to a very good brand. So before we get into the actual products, I do want to talk about this brand because they are new. I want to give you the info just so you know that what you're getting into and what you're giving your money to, of course, if you decide to purchase these products. So Vesca Beauty is a new indie brand. They launched in November of 2019, which kind of sucks because the the majority of the brand has been during COVID, which is not very fun, obviously. The overall vibe and aesthetic is to create the perfect everyday kind of glow, which you can see through their products, though their eyeshadows, I was very shocked by, and stay tuned for this video to see what I mean. And the first thing that I noticed from the brand before I actually tried the products was I, I looked at their Instagram, as you do, and I was so impressed by the diversity that I saw on their feed. It was crazy. Every single race was represented. Every single depth of skin was represented. So that was the first thing that caught my eye. And then I went over to the website and I saw that they really did practice what they preached because their bronze range was so inclusive the lip range had every undertone that you could need the highlight everything about the brand was just real and it's gonna work for all different types of skin overall I could tell that this was a good brand with good values that I would want my money to go towards the more that I've learned about the brand the more that they are backing up my original thoughts like it's not something that you know some brands will do it for show it's not for show at all so they actually sent me this and I didn't know this and it again it just made me like them even more so they launched the reset beauty fun in June 2020 and I'm, I'm gonna read Read off what they told me because I can't say it better. We have been and always will be committed to making sure black and marginalized voices are heard in every aspect of our business. From consulting black makeup artists on product development, it's very clear that they did that based on the type of products and the color range that they have, to testing products and shades on black models and paying black creatives and content creators to ensure that there is representation across our brand and they've done a very good job at that. We are proud to launch the Reset Beauty Fund to foster a permanent change in the beauty industry. Vesca is committed to investing a minimum of $20,000 towards black and marginalized artists, content creators, and models to elevate black and marginalized voices in the beauty industry. And I just wanted to start off with that first and foremost because I feel like 2020, we started to support more small brands. I know for a fact I've been diversifying the type of brands that I use, and this one is one of my favorites and one of the ones that I am most proud to share with you guys, sponsored or not, because they are a good brand, great morals, and great products, which you will see, like legitimately, all things aside, the products are what got me to look into the brand. I tried the products and I was like, whoa, what is this brand? And I looked into the brand and it, I was shocked. They were even better than I thought that they <laughs> could ever be. By the way, off topic, if you see all this Valentine's Day stuff, I know today is not Valentine's Day, but the day that I'm filming it is before Valentine's Day. Off topic, but I had to share that with you. Before we get more into the demo and all of that, just last second facts also about the brand. They are vegan, cruelty-free, thoughtfully formulated, following our Vesta clean standards. Inclusivity, diversity, and transparency are core brand values. And they did give me a discount code. If you use the code MORGAN10, that will save you 10% off on your purchase if you do decide to purchase the products. And I do hope that once we get into the demo, you can really see how great these products work. And I hope you find something that you like. Anyways, again, thank you so much, Vesca, for sponsoring today's video. I am so excited. Let's get into the fun stuff. Here we go. <laughs> I 
I'm so excited to demo these products for you. I'm trying to swatch and try on as many of the colors that I can so you can really see how they look and they apply to the skin. So the first product that we're going into is Complexion and these are the Soft Sun Radiant Skin Primer and Luminizers. These are made in Canada. They have one fluid ounce in them. They are $30 each and there are three shades in the line. Now all of these have different tones for different purposes. So you can see the color on the back. Can you see how disgusting my first blush looks? The shade first blush. This is the one that I've been using for a while. They did send me a couple more colors because I wanted more colors for this review and I'm going to tell you my thoughts on them. So let's go over the texture consistency of these, the purpose of these. So these are supposed to give you a golden hour glow in a bottle. I like that. We like golden hour, right? <laughs> and these are supposed to be three universal shades to refine all complexions for different needs that you have. They suggest you can wear this alone or under foundation. You can mix it with foundation or you can apply it over makeup for a targeted highlight. Very similar to like the Charlotte Tilbury or the new Auric, but this is a different texture for sure. So let's go over the colors first. So the first one that I want to do is Dawn. Now Dawn has almost like a more purple undertone to it. Now Dawn is supposed to be used for brightness, which is perfect because this shade is definitely more brightening, that purple undertone. You can kind of see the shift right there of where that purple is. And the next one that we have is Sunrise. Sunrise is supposed to be for warmth. So you can see that it has that golden undertone, a little bit yellow right there. Very, very subtle. And then the last one, this is the one that I've used the most. I've had the longest. This is First Blush. So this one is for Radiance and it has a pinky undertone. And you can see there are different tones that these have and you don't think they would show up much on the face but I was very surprised when I first applied first blush at how much you were able to tell that it had the pink tone so just be prepared that these tones are actually visible on the skin especially when the light hits you can see that purple undertone or that pinky undertone so I've already actually demoed first blush in a video pretty in depth so I want to demo both dawn and sunrise so we're gonna start off with dawn which is the more purple one and it's very very subtle as far as the tint but you'll be able to see the difference as I apply this does have a moisturizing feel to it I like to apply it just with my hands to easily spread it out I'm gonna mess up my eyebrows today as I always do when I do my eyebrows first and just so you can see the glow it's very very subtle it's not like a Charlotte Tilbury or an Auric which is going to give you that metallic glow this gives you something a little bit more natural which I think is more friendly towards those with an oily complexion because with the Charlotte and the Auric I felt like I got super oily looking with this one I don't get super oily looking because it is that subtle and you can see that the shade that purple tone actually did brighten my skin let me wipe off my hands and we're gonna do sunrise now which is the golden one I prefer not to mix this with my foundations because I do find that since the glow is so subtle that the foundation kind of eats that glow up and you really can't notice it too much unless I want this slightly moisturizing consistency it's not the most moisturizing feel like I still would put down a moisturizer first don't replace this as a moisturizer but it does add on some moisture if you have drier skin like myself, but it's not too much. So that's the gold side, that's the purple side. I know you can't really tell that huge of a difference, especially on camera, but I can tell you on person when the lights are strong, I can tell that the purple side is definitely more brightening and the golden side is definitely a little bit more warm and it has that golden tone to it. I prefer the purple side all over my skin underneath foundation. I'm gonna put on a little bit of my Armani Luminous Silk Foundation and my NARS Concealer and then I'll be back and I'll show you how this looks on top of foundation. I did want to take the time to show you how this worked on top of foundation. I'm not the biggest fan of liquid highlighters so this personally isn't the way that I reach for these products. I just like this underneath a lightweight foundation so that the glow can show through but I'm going to show you. You've already seen what first blush looks like so we're going to use Sunrise which is the warm one. This one is my favorite to put on top of foundation because I prefer a more golden highlight on my skin. I recommend just using your fingers to apply this because 
it melts into the skin easier that way and it doesn't move foundation. So even though I hate liquid highlighters, this doesn't move the foundation and it gives a very, very natural glow. So you can see the difference from this side to this side. It almost adds a little bit more of a wet, dewy look and it does dry down. Your skin doesn't feel sticky all day up in your cheekbone area. So don't be afraid of that. It will dry down. I'm gonna use Dawn now, which is the more brightening shade with that lilac undertone there. And this one, pulls slightly more silvery I feel like on top of foundation because it is that cooler tone which is why I prefer sunrise on top of foundation but again it still adds that very radiant skin like finish but you have to be looking for something quite natural I think to wear on top because it's not going to glow to the gods by any means but it is really pretty it doesn't move the foundation and overall this product is very very nice it's very subtle it's for somebody that doesn't want to look super glowy super oily super metallic super sweaty it's not going to give you that vibe it's just going to give you that subtle glow when the sun hits and I really like how those undertones are actually quite visible on this skin and they do make a difference okay now it's time to move on to probably Probably, I don't know. I'm in between a few products, but probably my favorite product, or at least it was the first product to really stand out to me from this brand, and that is their Soft Matte Bronzing Powders. Now these are gonna be $30 each. They're made in Italy. If you aren't familiar with my channel, I stand by the fact that Italy is one of the best places to source powder products from. So I'm so excited to see that they chose to get this product manufactured in Italy. And it can't be cheap. Okay, so this is what the packaging looks like. It's very, very clean, very simple, just as all of the packaging here is. One thing that is amazing about this bronzer line, there are seven shades. I would say for the most part, most brands are gonna have about three to four shades of bronzers. So not only does this have seven shades, but it's a clear range for very fair skin tones to deep, dark skin tones. The range is even, it makes sense. It's fair. You know how sometimes a range can be like six of those shades are really for light to medium skin tone and then they have the one shade for dark skin tone? No, this is a clear range. Now I have the three lightest shades because obviously anything past that, that, that third one, it's not, it's not gonna work for me. The formula of this is very, very finely milled. It's super smooth, super velvety. I think $30 is a great deal for this type of formula if I'm being honest. A lot of bronzers can run quite pricey and I think this has a luxury feel to it kind of similar to like a really soft Charlotte Tilbury powder so this is the lightest one right here this is Rio this is a fair light with neutral undertones it has a little bit more yellowiness to it than I would prefer it's not made for my skin tone I'm gonna use it today it's not the most flattering if you have my skin tone I don't recommend it but they made one for the fair complexions and I love that the next shade up is going to be kissed by Santorini. This is the shade that I've been wearing in all of my Instagram videos, all of my Instagram pictures, all of my YouTube videos. This is the perfect shade for me. It's a light medium with warm undertone. And then the last shade, this is one that I don't use for my skin tone. This is kissed by Deani. Hopefully I'm saying that right, but you can see it's actually quite deep for being the third shade. I'm keeping this in my makeup kit because it's perfect for my deeper complexion. I don't have a lot of shades like this. This is a medium with golden undertone kind of bronzer and it gets even deeper. So I think that that's amazing that a new brand can start off with such a range. We're gonna start off with the Kiss by Rio. Obviously it's not made for my skin tone. When I would use this is if I'm wearing a foundation that's too light for my skin tone to build into the deeper uh, bronzer. So if I was wearing a light foundation, I would put this in all the places that I would wear bronzer and then I would go in with the deeper shade after the lighter shade just to create an even blend so it's not a shocking, very white foundation, very deep bronzer. So this is almost as the building. So this would be like the stepping stone to the actual bronzer color that I want to use. But I did want to show you this on my skin tone in case you were curious. You can see it kind of has a little bit of yellowiness to it which isn't as flattering on my skin tone. But let's get into the good stuff. We're gonna get into Santorini. I hope you could notice how smooth that blends onto my skin. It blends out very, very nice. It's definitely a high quality bronzer, you guys. And I just got that all over my forehead. Okay. 
I'm not going to put the darkest shade on my skin because it would just, it would be a bit much, but I'm gonna use this when we move on to the eyes, so get ready. But bronzer is probably one of my favorite products from this line. I think if you're gonna make an order, you gotta, you gotta add the bronzer on. It's amazing. It's been my current favorite for the, ever since I had it. All right, now it's time to move into the Stargaze Luminous Glow Highlighters. I have two. There's a total of four in the range. And if you look in the range, again, they're very versatile colors for many different skin tones and different undertones as well. There's a rose, there's a rich bronze, which is gonna be the deepest one. There's a peach and there's soft champagne. So the highlighters are made in Canada. And let me share with you the lightest shade right here. So this is Moonlight. It has quite a creamy consistency. It's not like wet creamy, but it's not gonna fly all over, you know? It's not loosely packed, okay? And then the next one that we have is Wish, which is a little bit more peachy to it. It has a peachy gold tone. So you can see the clear differences, and both work great on my skin tone. So I'm gonna use a Kaleidos H1 brush. Let me wipe it off, make sure it's clean. So we're gonna start off with the lightest one over here. This is Moonlight again. And I feel like if you're a little bit more fair, you might be scared of how this looks for your complexion. As you can see, it shows up not icy on my skin tone, but it is quite light. So I think you're in the clear, you'll be safe. And it's not an overly glowy highlighter. It does pick up some light, <laughs> it most definitely does, but it's not really thick and opaque, so it's not gonna be too much like a stripe. Because it's a little bit more thin, it's gonna blend seamlessly into the skin, and that's what I look for the most in highlighters. It's not how bright it is, it's about how it blends in, and you can see it blends in great. Now, it doesn't smooth texture by any means. It's a highlighter, but it doesn't emphasize texture like in a chunky way like some highlighters will do. It's very, very smooth on the skin. You can't see the lines of like demarcation of where it starts and where it ends. It blends right in with those face products. Now I know I did go over top of the liquid luminizer, but the liquid luminizer dries down so it's not catching on to that. So now we're gonna do Wish. I wiped the brush off and I was even worried if this was gonna be too deep on me and it's not. It works on my skin tone. And I think because it doesn't have a strong pigment to it, it's not gonna look weird on different skin tones. It's gonna be quite versatile. You can see again how seamlessly that blends into the skin. Moonlight is definitely a little bit brighter, but they're still both extremely glowy and very flattering highlighters. So these are really good as well. They are $28 each, I forgot to say that. And let's see, six grams of product. So. A bit more pricey, I would say, compared to the bronzer because you get 10 grams for 30 as opposed to six grams for 28, but really high quality products. We're gonna move into the biggest shock. It took me a while, it did, it took me a while to test out their Moonlit Dream Cream Eyeshadows because the whole aesthetic of the brand is quite natural, quite easy to apply kind of products. I mean, you guys get the whole vibe here, right? So I thought these were kind of going to be boring. I was so wrong. So, so, so wrong. So there are four shades. I have all four shades to show you today. They're $28 each. They're not cheap, but get ready. So these are made in Canada. You get 0.24 fluid ounces. And let's just get started. I was shocked. So... They come in this kind of squeezy tube packaging, really small and cute. So this first shade is Lyra. It's a champagne rose with iridescent reflex. And I was worried about these not being pigmented or being sheer, a little bit too like glossier-ish, which I'm not so into. Girl, do you see that? If you like glam, you get it with these. I don't know if you can see, but there are a little bit of very small, glimmery, glittery reflex in there, which will add so much impact to the eyelid. Let's keep going because it just, it doesn't disappoint. It keeps going up from here. So the next one that we have is Karina. So this is an antique, this is an antique gold with gold reflect. Chill, chill, chill. We're gonna go in with Vela right here. And this is a deep plum with pink reflect. Okay, now this one is not one that I think I would reach for as often. It's a bit, it's a bit intimidating. It's very pretty. You can see it's not patchy, so I'm very impressed with that. I wore it the other day and it looked really good. <sighs> and then the last one that we have is Orion. And this is a deep bronze with a golden reflect. White, deep, 
This one, I'll be honest, I haven't worn on my eyes. I don't think I'm ready for it yet, but you can see those glitters. I definitely did not think this brand was going to have something in their line that was so glam, <laughs> you know, because it is a natural makeup brand. These are awesome. Hold on. Okay, let me just, let me show you. So to start off, I told you I was going to use this deepest bronzer. I'm going to use it just quickly in my crease. Just to add a little bit of depth. Honestly, this is a little deeper than I would want it to be, but this is the only place I feel comfortable using it. And again, you can see on the eye, Unset Concealer. Who just emailed me? You can see on my eye, just right there, how easily this blends. The concealer is unset. So that should tell you something about the smoothness of this bronzer. Let me turn the brightness up. The sun is going down. I only have two eyelids and I'm trying to make a good look. So I'm only gonna use two colors, but you got all of the swatches. We're gonna do Kareen on the inner half and then we're gonna do Orion on the outer half. I like to just put a little bit on my finger or on the back of my hand or directly on. And it's a little bit more liquidy, so a little bit does go a long way. If you want something a little bit more scattered like this, just to get a little bit of glitter, put it on the back of your hand and kind of spread out the product. Or if you want it to be a little bit more pigmented, as I show you over here, you can do that. I mean, how beautiful is this product? And as far as wear time goes, of course, I know you're curious about that. I haven't had any problems with wear time. I think it's lasted a really nice long time. But keep in mind, I don't normally have problems with wear time. I don't have oily eyelids. They are creasy, though. I have, like, creasy eyelids, and I haven't had problems with that. But wear time, again, I don't have oily eyelids. And this is already starting to dry down. So you don't need to work super quick with these, but just they do dry down. So be aware of that. And surprisingly, this is not very common. It still works after it dries. Like you can still blend the product. It's not gonna be set in stone when it dries. So you can work with it. And I'm gonna show you that by taking some of Orion. Like I said, I haven't used this yet. So here we go. I'm gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand because I want to use it more sparingly. And I'm gonna just press it right here. And slowly blend that in. Then I'm gonna take my blending brush. I'm actually gonna dip the brush a little bit in the cream shadow and work on that depth. Isn't that impressive that you can actually blend? Now I do want to go in with a little bit more of the powder bronzer just to get the edges up here. But as far as the cream shadow goes, extremely easy to work with. Typically, I'm not going to be blending these colors together with cream shadows. It takes too much time, but I did just kind of want to give you that demo so you can see what you can do. I haven't done a technique like this yet, so we're going to find out together. I'm going to take Orion, which is the deeper shade, and a pencil brush. I'm going to run this along my lower lash line. Then I'm probably going to go in with the powder bronzer to blend it out. Take a little bit of the powder bronzer, just kind of blend it out to create the softness that you just can't get unless you're using a powder. All right, awesome. Here is how it looks up close. These were definitely the biggest surprise to me. I did not expect to be so impressed by this product, but it really is so beautiful. So I'm going to finish liner, lashes, all of that, and then we'll get into lips. I am loving the way everything is looking especially this eye look something i forgot to mention about these cream shadows i can't believe i almost forgot but you know how sometimes when you have like a foiled cream shadow and you put too thick of a layer on it it gets cracky it feels tight on your eyelid you can feel it it gets thick it's gross it looks gross that does not happen with these they almost dry down to sort of like a powder so you saw how much i put on and it's not like crackly or anything like that it, it looks like a powder so something even more incredible to put on top of it so we're going to move on to the final product in the line which is called the creamy lip oil lush glow there are six shades in the line all of them are a different tone i have five i'm missing dahlia which is almost like more of a coral shade i believe no, is that the shade that I'm missing? I have five shades. I'm only missing one, which is more of like a bright coral shade, but I have the rest. We're gonna go from light to dark. So the first one that we're going to talk about is Ginger Lily. This is described as a peachy nude shade. So you get quite a big applicator if you like, kind of like the Fenty. It's just a bit smaller, but it's very simple. By the way, these are made in Canada and they are $26. So this is the one I would probably say I've used the most 
because I just like to use it for Zoom calls, something to throw on. It is a lip oil, so I like to use these as lip treatments or when I apply like a really natural look just to add a little bit of color back into my face. So it's not extremely long wearing, but it is very, very moisturizing. Lip oil products are quite popular now. And this is a very nice one. It's very smooth, like there's no stickiness at all. And it does add a thick enough layer to where it feels hydrating, not sticky at all. They describe it as a cushiony comfort. And that's exactly how it feels. It feels like a soft, smooth cushion on your lips that's so hydrating. But anyways, this is Ginger Lily. This is kind of my everyday favorite shade just to throw on to add some color back into my face. And it almost has just like a lip moisturizer. Next shade that we have is Lotus. So you can see this one is a bit darker. It's described as a mauve nude. And I like this one for when I want some more color to my lips. How pretty is that? Now, if you are wearing these more long-term, I do recommend wearing a lip liner just to help the bleeding stop. And it's just gonna last 10 times longer that way. But this one is Lotus. The next shade that we have is Orchid. You can see Orchid is just like a bright fuchsia shade. Get ready. <laughs> this is not typically a color that I go for. But if you like colors like these, I think you will really like this. Like I said, I'm more into these like nudie kind of tones, the first two. So I haven't worn this more than like one time, but it's pretty, really great for summer. And I love how easy these are to take off. They don't stain. Next shade down, we have Dahlia, which is a bright, warm red. You can see these do have a little bit of pigment to them. They are a bit more sheer, of course, but they're going to give you some color. Look at this. For a lip oil, that's very impressive. It's like our natural red shade. It's great when a dark color like this isn't drying on the lips. It adds hydration while also adding a big punch of color. Obviously, I don't recommend wearing under a mask, but come summertime, it's gonna be really great. Or again, Zoom calls, perfect for Zoom. Okay, the last one that we have is Morning Glory. This is a chocolate nude. Look at that. Again, the range here. I love it, so thought out. And it's not patchy for being such a dark yet sheer color. It still has an even application. So these are also really nice, very comfortable, not extremely long wearing, and I do recommend a lip liner. But if you like the lip oil kind of products, I like this, it's more smooth than the Dior. So if you've tried the Dior, I feel like that one's a bit more thick and it's not sticky, but this just feels a little bit more lightweight, a little bit more wearable. So I'm gonna back out and I'm gonna give you my final thoughts. So taking a step back, here is the final look. I ended up using a Nabla Cosmetics new number three lip liner with a light layer of the Morning Glory lip oil on top and it is so pretty. So I wanted to come back with my final thoughts about all of the products. My top two products that I recommend looking into are the bronzers and the eyeshadows, the cream eyeshadows. They are so good, but I haven't tried anything from this brand that I don't really, really love. Everything is so good and I have 100% confidence that if you purchase products from these brands that you won't be disappointed. If you are interested in making a purchase, they did give me a code. It is Morgan10 and it will save you 10% off. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to learn about this line with me. I'm, I hope I helped you out if you were at all interested. Huge thank you to Vesca Beauty for believing in me and wanting to partner with me on this video because I really want to see some great things from this brand. I selfishly wanted to do this whole video so that they could grow and then create more products because I need more products from them. They're amazing. So that is all I have for today's video. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one. Who is vacuuming?